how are we doing? So, good afternoon. Um, a little bit strange, I'm just going to pop that up a little bit. So I can hear my own voice. We need to get these levels sorted. So, uh, I see someone's watching me. Hi, how are you doing? Um, so, what we're going to do this afternoon, really, I've just been, once again, been figuring stream uh, for my own use and really just um, looking to do a quick Sunday flight. Um, nothing special. But one of the things I am considering doing actually is taking this book um, and really working through it on stream, page well chapter by chapter. So taking us from um, initial flight, making sure we do that properly. So there's interesting things in there, but also um, right through to uh, IFR and all those fancy things, um, taxiing and all, all those, but. Really, not because I don't know how to do it, but more that I'm not necessarily doing it right and kind of gives us some, some practice on, on that side of things. But for today, let's put that to one side and consider just really, well, actually one of the interesting things is this book use, is old because it's flights and layer X, but it also uses um, a cub as its initial flight uh, aircraft, which is pretty basic to say the least so let's take that out we'll, we'll pop out at um i think Northfield. uh Northfield. yeah why not and let's see what the weather's doing today we'll go off from here oh, we could do, do it from parking why not and then um let's just fire up the first problem pretty gray and horrible out today so but real time is, is always cool so let's do that we'll do clear clear skies but actually we've got a piece of software that injects more realistic weather so we'll have that that's the weather for spy rex and um we'll see how we get on so let's go um if you want to join me in in, in the uh in the air i might we might be playing on the european server i think uh, uh, West European West and look out for Andy M554 um, and we're at near or around EGSX or Northfield so so um, I'll see you in the skies I don't see you before okay we've got a cup of tea which is really nice a bit of a world, but uh, new camera layer actually so this is a little bit um, eye level rather than higher than it was um, we'll see how that goes. You can tell me if you're on the chat. Tell me how the, the audio go, is going. Always a bit of a mystery. Um, I can I can adjust bits and pieces as needed, but uh, looks to me like we we've got sound going out. We've got the application sound, so the game itself should be okay. Maybe a bit quiet, but, uh, but we'll see. Okay. So what what about this plane? One of the things, oh, actually, one of the things I need to fix is um, for some reason the mouse decided it wasn't going to uh, rotate when I uh, rotate the camera. And it's something to do with home view, so let's have a quick look at that. So I think we have to go to all the. And it's a common thing that um, Flight Simulator does to people, and it just decides to map the home view to on somewhere. Uh, maybe it's under it's under cameras. Where will you find that camera? But it's in here. It's really annoying. There we go. Look. So whoever made a nice YouTube video I watched last night, and I should link to it, but I didn't. Um, is it was probably right because that I definitely didn't put that on myself. So I think maybe there's a key map or something that makes that happen. Yay, we can look around again. That's good. Because that was a bit hard to do. Let's get this keyboard out of the way. Right now. And uh, some quick look around the plane. So really, really basic plane. Tail dragger. Um, with uh, just me in the cockpit. And some guy on the bus driving around. All we're going to do is really take this over to the taxiway. Well, taxi over to, <laughs> takes over to the runway more like and someone up in the sky that's probably going to Stansted. Um, 
Well, we maybe try and talk to ATC and see if they're talking to us. Ah, you can't do that because the, um, the actual plane is switched off. So that's cool. So let's get going. So what, what I've got in front of me is um, a honeycomb yoke and a honeycomb uh, quadrant, uh, throttle quadrant. It's really nice, actually, if you, you're looking around for something well worth the money. A little bit of money, but uh, it does make it feel very more, much more realistic. So let's turn this plane on in the metal. That will come back up. Not much to turn on in this plane, to be honest. Uh, just generally um, battery and whatnot. Make sure we've got some fuel. Uh, is that the pump? Air entry, engine choke. Yeah, make sure that's okay. That's not mapped, is it? Let's, uh, we should sort that out before we go anywhere. Sorry about this. And why is that? Control options. Probably because I was bucking around trying to get that damn full home button to work. Not, what it, not do what it was supposed to be doing. That should do it. Apply and save. Back. Resume. There we go. We've got knobs working now. Maybe. Maybe not. What is, what is this? Is that true? Throttle. Throttle. Sign. Is actually doing anything? Okay. We've probably messed up all the mapping. Let's go back to that. Control C. Bravo, let's just try default. Apply. Back. Zoom. Maybe. Well, the throttle's okay. Maybe the shank doesn't do anything. A bit rubbish. Okay, that will give it 100%. Because we want to start the plane with our fuel pump. Okay, let's give it a kick. This doesn't have a um, parking brake, by the way, so you have to put your feet down. Brake that. So, bike sign. Uh, tune in to our GCS. Announce my taxi. I don't often use this, so it will be um, unusual. Am I? Okay, I'm checked into the wrong way to zero. Okay, bit of juice. God, this is a strange plane for me. But it's really, um, I don't need that. Right, this is even the fair wrong way to zero. So it's really weird that you, because it's a tail dragger, you can't actually see very much. So we're going to try and keep that yellow line somewhere here. You can pop up a little bit just to see what's going on. It's a bit better. We're looking to the tree on sitting on our knees trying to um, see what's going on here. It's quite good that there's a slow down a bit. Okay. We'll follow this round. It's quite light though, control wise. So that's good. I'm guessing 20s at this end. We should really know. Find out in a minute. Or is it going to be a long drive up the wrong way to the other end? Maybe I should look on the map. The brakes on. Let's get that map up and see what's going on. Brakes on. Put all down so we don't end up losing off the distance. Okay. Let's get rid of that. So let's have a look at where we are. Right, runway 20, of course it's the um, opposite end of where we are right now, by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, we want to go back on ourselves. We follow <laughs> completely in the wrong place. Okie dokie. So we want to turn around, come back on ourselves go that way in the end this could be painful let's do that might as well play it where it's there that way you learn say hi on chat if you're around and um, be nice to see some faces uh, i don't suppose anyone mind if we take a little bit of a jaunt down the runway the 
As your Sunday doing, okay? So what do you think? So I do two, well, Thursdays we do a joint like myself and uh, Grants, Games and Gear. And what we're doing there is an uh, around the world tour, um, one leg at a time, about an hour and a half each. And then we're gonna go on, um, well, basically that's gonna go on forever. So it's quite a long trip. Um, we're in just Saudi Arabia at the moment. But I'm thinking maybe, I don't know whether it's regular Tuesday thing or something, but excuse me, um, but perhaps we can go um, through, like I mentioned earlier, through the book and just just a small lesson each time. Um, and then we should go off there. There's a, room, there's a taxiway. That seems like a good thing to do. Um, not that you can see anything anymore. Thanks to the plane. So, and uh, really it starts out with this, this plane. It takes you through all the instru instruments, um, interesting things like uh, uh, rudder control and side slip and bits like that. So I think that would be a, a useful thing to do. Um, kind of, we fly, myself and Grant um, fly okay, and we're mostly getting towards the rules, but I think we could make it more realistic stroke harder um, but uh, why not okay I'm coming up to the end of the runway now I can see that because we're on well one I can see the runway but also I'm using the little nav map as a bit of a bit of a live view map which is kind of okay I suppose a bit cheap we'll take our way down to the runway I should think this plane needs about three foot to take off but that's um as we use it on. I don't think we're going to do very much apart from uh, uh, maybe take off. Uh, always around, get used to the plane a bit, try and do some turns um, to be parallel with the runway, which is why I'm doing this. Does this work? Yeah. So that home that home setting affected everything, which is clever. Um, so that's one to look out for if you ever have that. And you can't you can't use the mouse to look around. Um, or, or even the joystick um, point of view hat. That's that's that home control saying. Which is um, very odd. Oh, it's getting dark out there, which is realistic. So you can see the clouds are changing. That's the that, that live um, full weather force doing its thing and slowly injecting real world into ourselves. It's actually saying it's, um, it's temperature and weather for Stansted, which is very close to here. Um, Stansted Airport, that is. And, and uh, it's 17 degrees out there today, um, literally this afternoon. Um, we're nothing really special going on. Wind is 29 knots, which is quite exciting, at 2,000 feet. Um, that might be a problem for us in this little plane. We're going to be blown all over the place. Uh, we're not at 2,000 feet right now, let's just set the barometer. Okay, lights have come on the runway, which is a bit of a clue as to how gross it is out of the side. I think we'll just go from here. Well, there's, there's actually miles of runway. I think this is in, is it North will be an old World War II uh, airfield. So, like a lot of things in Hertfordshire and Essex. Um, and Norfolk and, and any side on the east of the country. We built an awful lot of runways and airfields via war effort, and it shows. All right, there we are. So, flight pre flight checks is basically put the brakes on, throttle down, so we don't end up going down the runway. Probably won't move if I do that. Quick look around the outside. Ooh, a bit of a dark storm coming up. It's, uh, stormy clouds over that side. Interesting. Okay, no one in the way. Just us. And it's okay. Rudder's fine. Ailerons, elevators, all good. Okay. Back in the plane. Now we're a little bit to one side. Make sure. Choke is out. 
brakes on and let's go. I want to straighten up a little bit. This doesn't take very much from from standing to get up on its back wheel. There we go, off its back wheel rather. It feels weird when it does. But okay, let's to power it up. It doesn't need all the power it's got. I've not even got flaps now. That wall, that, that weather front is um, interesting. Okay, funny enough, there's no, yeah, there's about, looking at that windsock, it's about 10, 5 to 10 knots down the ground. Um, so, that's that. Cool, we're in the air. Um, maybe I should have announced I was, I was taking off. Okay, we'll close up the ATC for a little while and have a whiz round. Quite a nice little plane, good learner plane. So we're heading towards 1,000 feet. And the outside looks like this. I get behind it. Look at the rain over them right there, though. That's interesting. Yeah, it's actually hitting us just a bit. You see it on the windscreen. Maybe you can't see that on the screen. No, not the best day for flying. Well, not now. It probably would have been earlier this, this morning. Ooh, yeah, we're getting, we're catching the front. So let's go over towards the sunny weather. A little bit. Let's see where we are. So we're over um, Epping Forest Way. Well, maybe not. Yeah, around that area. So around here is uh, the M11 on the right there. Just about to see it. I don't know where my co-pilot is either because I don't think there's any space for him. <laughs> it's because he's an AI. He just exists. Right, so just tuning in to um, air traffic control and saying hi. It's better over here than it is over there. That's for sure. Look at it. It's not me you're talking to, is it? It's quite nice over here. It's going to be horrible when we come back to the air runway. Where are we? Oh, we're heading north, aren't we? That looks about. So where is the compass on this plane? Uh, it's actually got a compass. Climbing still. So we back off the throttle a little bit. You can tell that because... Um, this is the vertical speed indicator. If it's above zero, you're basically going up, and if it's below zero, you're going down. It looks gross over there as well. I think the weather's closing in on me. So yeah, we have got compasses here. So we're heading um, kind of south. I would have thought we could see London, but maybe, maybe we're not. Not close enough yet. Okay. Well, maybe the weather's bad enough to think to not. Not enable us to see it. So let's, let's back our A and, and head towards the airport, uh, airfield. Uh, nice, nice um, digital line there between the two, between the two um, satellite pictures. Let's not talk about that too much. Okay. Been tweaking the settings on flights, and, and one there is too many, but also. It's just really hard to get the balance of uh, quality and um, FPS range per second. I really like <laughs> I like both. So at some point, I think it's some investment in a graphics card is going to come, but not not just yet. I mean, the one the one you really want is um, probably a I think it's a forty ninety. It comes in at twelve hundred pounds, and that is quite an expense for a. Uh, I'm not going to say it for a game. But I do like this. Flight Sim is very good. Um, so 
So it's getting investment. And we've all, we um, recently bought the Oakham um, controller um, for Quadrant, and that adds so much to the game. Rudders as well. That what what would be cool is to be able to run the thing flat out, but it really is a luxury. But this this is kicking over about um, I think probably let's have a look. Uh, get that up? Probably not. Um, we're running at about 40 frames a second average. I mean, these trees will slide down a little bit, but it's not bad. Um, and then well, we're not really suffering too much on the graphics side either. But there are some more settings you can do. Um, but you're really getting into the into the woods of maybe one frame per second extra. So, uh, let's see what we can see. That looks like we're on uh, airfield over there, given away by its buildings and the uh, chimney. And the bad weather. So I think we need, maybe we need to go a bit higher. Let's have a look around. Getting pushed around. So there's the wrong way. We'll go over it and we'll come back rather than go down to shit. So I don't know whether I should be in um, Flight Simulator category or just chatting because I do a lot of chatting as well. So And actually Flight Simulator sort of, yes, it's something we do, but it's not the most big, uh, probably the big, not the biggest draw for what we do here. Yeah. Look at that. That's quite nice though. The weather's perfect. They're being um, quite horrible. Luckily, it's not too bad when it comes to wind on the ground. So coming over there. Nice quiet plane. Presumably, it's not too quiet on the on the uh, stream. I can I can see it going up, rocking away. Bit rate's really good. We've got excellent um, stream quality. And I like the water running out the run, the uh, windshield. It's quite exciting. Let's have a look over there. Mm, not too bad. It's probably going away, actually. Like magic coming out of a car, uh, car wash and all got nice and dry again. I wonder if the viewer is me up there. I'll turn off the stream preview. It's something else. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at um, Twitch's information. Yeah, someone's watching me, so nice to see you. Uh, some people call people out as lurkers and things, but that's not that's not what um, I care about. It's more you enjoy yourself and you uh, got me in the background while you have a nice cuppa. That's okay. If you want to say hi one day, that's good as well. But if you're also interested in what I do here, um, just, just give us a follow and uh, that will help me and it will give me some feedback as to what's, um, what people are interested in. But I can't just play the game anyway because that's what I'm, oh, sorry, simulator. I can play the simulator um, anyway because I do that. I actually play quite a variety of games, but um, up in I suppose it's the office up in the main game area. I play simulator mostly. Having tea nearby is good because my throat tends to dry out while I'm talking. Maybe I shouldn't talk so much. Bit of a clip. Okay, not bad. So one one of the things you can try and do is try and keep when you when you turn, try and keep the vertical speed indicator down to zero so you don't actually gain any height while you're turning or lose any height and that's quite a good exercise um, easier in this plane really because it's quite powerless but uh, it turns on six minutes though give it that there we go One more turn i think we've lost the runway interesting Now we're okay. It's, it's actually behind the brain. 
Um, so we're getting it's getting worse as we get in, which is rather exciting. A really good example of um, the Weather Force application doing its thing, I think, because I'm not sure I've seen this in flight simulate on its own weather with the uh, very definite rain band. And it looks really good on the ground to the right. So where are you, airfield? Can announce, can announce a touch and go, I think. Oh. Nearest lights, north wheeled. Uh, select runway for landing. O2, I think would be. Getting a bit uh, lower on my 20. I suppose that's the one. Echo Golf, Sierra X ray, traffic savage, Alpha November Delta, 5542. Do some lights. I've got any lights. I've got any lights. Not much in the way of them. Navigation lights. No, nope, this plane doesn't bother with those. <laughs> very, very basic. Where I am. Echo Golf, Sierra X -ray, I'm get some height down. Make it harder to see. Two miles north northeast, so that's very nice. They're not talking to me. So I'm guessing I'm allowed to do it. Oh, now it's one. Uh, I don't want to do that. trick here is not to land in the taxiway because it's very tempting but the, there is a difference like one's wider Harrison Ford needs to um, learn a bit about that I think, I think it was him that uh, landed on the taxiway once we're going to just do a touch and go in this rubbish rainy weather get over a bit it's not bad we are catching the wind a little bit Bounce. One thing I have not settled on yet is avoiding bike bouncing all over the place. Okay. Announce a go around. Announce take off. Departing uh, south. Echo Golf, Sierra, X ray, traffic, Savage, right. Alpha. A little bit too heavy for it would be uh it's itself. Well, have I just lied to them? No, it's near enough. Alright, that was um not great, I was looking at the dials rather than taking off. Do there some lights on this right uh, airfield. Cool. So should we head to um towards Luton perhaps? Nearest flight. The stance did. Yeah, please. Approach right here, 6544 is at 100 feet. Distance shh, 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 Should we go for nearer ones?
Is that one Stapleford? Apparently. Uh, we're going to come around. We're going to head up there. High Easter. Ooh, first. Here we go lower. We're heading um, north easterly, which is what, what it said actually. On the southwest of the runway, so it makes sense that we head northeast, doesn't it? <laughs> Slow down a bit. The plane's going a bit past. So this looks like it's got, it seems unlikely, it looks like it's got some sort of heading and autopilot control. I can't believe that. That's, that's a, bit of a, a bit of a leap. East yet. A little bit like that. So we're going to come in on runway eight when we get there. Yeah, straight Essex, probably Essex, or maybe. We go this way, we'll find another airfield. Willing, Willing Gale. We'll buzz that as we go for it. We get from around the weather, which is nice. So Willing Gale is over towards. Now north, actually it's on, on route pretty much. Maybe we shouldn't get quite so high. Oh, look at that. Chinny <laughs> roofs. I think we should go lower. Where are we at? at um, look at the alt altimeter here. We're about 2,000, not 2,500. It's not. Um, well, this is not nice weather to fly in. Let's get down with it. Looks, looks um, a little bit full I don't think we're going to feel the sea airfield if we go through here. Touch and go here, and we'll head back to um, Northfield for the uh, final landing. What do you think? Mm. 
this is um, this is a grass airfield by looks of it. It's not much to it. It's here at all. Maybe flights and doesn't map it. And it's uh, right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, it's all right actually. Maybe we'll do a touch and go on it. I'm going to tell them I'm doing it. Looks like someone's nice private collection. Yes, they practice. Tree, trees made us bounce around a bit. I think that's actually the wrong way. Yeah, it must be. Not much in the way of windsock action, so, so that's pretty good. And what we want to do really is come in lower, slower. Right, we're down. That was pretty good. Yeah. A bit of rudder. Keep us in the middle. That wasn't too bad. Let's go again. Oh, luckily these planes don't get the stall. Like these planes don't mind um, grass. I'm trying to do a dance of frol and everything else. So we're going to head up here. Uh, head, head. Uh, where are we going? Northeasterly, just about. Mostly north actually. So and then we'll be at. Um, so See what they say. Request flight following. Approach Savage Alpha November Delta 554 is type Savage SAVG one miles northeast of Echo Gulf Juliet Quebec 600 feet. Request flight following. Savage Alpha November Delta So we can go in on eight. Echo Golf Golf Romeo Traffic Savage Alpha November Delta five five four four miles south seven hundred feet inbound to land runway right. four miles. Still 17 degrees, but 10 knot wind in the ground. balanced, we're not gaining height, we're not gaining speed, sitting at 800 feet, about right. Uh, the weather decides, well, the weather thinks we should be higher, or lower, uh, might well, the weather thinks we should be on the ground, not really flying at all. So there's the run runway, I think, so if we look over that way, yeah, that's a bit gross out there, sorry about that camera there, love to you know, a bit more positive, but I think we come around here. And then bring ourselves around to the runway, which is almost you know, sort of northeasterly pointing. Come around here. Is that it? I think we might have fly over first. Is that the wrong way? I don't think it is. No, it's that grass we get. Good, because that looked like a road, and it is. OK, 
going down on the road across a bit, throttle down, flaps up a bit, down a bit rather. It's going some because the wind's going to blow us around. I love the way these um, called airfields literally are fields with, with the air. But, uh, you know, the biggest car and all that. Bring it over. And what we're going to do is literally, I'm going to actually land on this one. Whoa, came down a bit steep. Brakes. Not much, wrong way. Got the brakes on. Yeah. Still need to get a hang of this. And especially with the tail. Oh, yeah, I forgot it was a tail um, plane aeroplane. Tail gra dragger, they call it. So we can't really go any other way except for leaving this way. Stop here for a sec. Have a cup of tea. Look outside. Look at the web we're flying into. Kind of gross. It's, oh, and that looks like an RAF. Um, it's probably an originally asked for someone's stately home, but uh, it's turned into an RAF based stroke local, local community centre or whatever now, I suppose. A bit hard to tell. Okay, let's head back to the North Field and we can call it the day for this session. It's about an hour. I don't think we need to uh, clear a runway departing. Oh. Echo Golf Golf Romeo Traffic Savage Alpha November Delta five five four taking off runway two six departure to the south. Bricks, bit of boot. Okay. Rain's coming to get us. Okay. Keep catching up with us. Oh, it's so weird when the front ends down. What the hell's happening? All modern planes don't do that. Okay. Off we go. It's frame frames drops like crazy. Look at that. Right. We should be heading south really now. Runway 20. I think, given the weather, what's the weather like? Yeah. 220. 220 degrees. So, we'll fly into the wind. Let's do 02. I don't know if that's the right answer or not. Let's do it anyway. Echo Golf, Sierra X ray, traffic savage, Alpha November Delta, 5548 miles northeast, 500 feet. Northeast, so we're going to go southwest. Is that right? It's over there now. To the right. So that's nice. Bit of juice. That flaps up. Actually, probably slow this down. You can see that difference there. So a bit outside view for a while. <laughs> so then we teleport into the uh, cockpit. The I mean, weather's still a little bit gross on the right there. Should maybe ride down the um no, no it's all come back. <laughs> it's because we got high. We've already picked up a new uh, weather data. Right, so we're going to head over to the right a little bit to the, to the west.
bit too high. So, Merc. Merc is about my word. Just a nice little one. Um, nice little trip. Would be good if some of the airfields we were going towards had lights, but I think they're not really expecting some idiot in a cub to go out in this weather. I think he should have gone home and not bothered because it is um, not pleasant. Also, what have we got there? So just to our north. That stands good. What's that loot? That must be stands good. Yeah, so just to our, our north is Stansted Airport, so we will keep out of the way of that one. Uh, although, yeah, if we're, we're polite about it, they probably let us land, because they can't stop us. So, here we go. So we're really going straight at um, Northfield right now. Uh, so, uh, Northfield has um, well, it's quite a well-known airport for people who live around Hertfordshire Way, where I used to. And because um, it's right next to the M11, so people see it all the time, even if they just see the planes coming off of it. We're being pushed back by the weather. You can feel it in the plane. Probably could do with a bit more juice. And now we're okay. Let me just make sure we don't go too high. Let's have an outside view for a while. Quite nice playing for sightseeing. You can um, rock the flight pretty slow to see what's going on. Funny because uh, I've got my window open next to me and I can feel spots of rain coming in. So, this simulator is really realistic. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. Maybe I should have closed the window of the plane. Okay. Indication of the uh, airfield there. Lucky they paint those big white lines on it. That it? makes it a bit easier to see in the murk. Juice a bit of flaps just to slow us down a bit. Oh, I don't think they're the wrong way. Actually, I think they're some hand, some uh, yeah, no. They're just some buildings. <laughs> so those white lines are not what we're looking for. That's not even the um, airfield. I'm glad we didn't land there. Let's go for a whiz. A bit more juice just to catch up again. We'll look at the old flight plan. Right. So just to show you quickly, this is where we are. Oh, why does it do that? Let's search. I think I need to investigate the full screen mode, so we're coming in this way. You cannot even see it, because it is so murky. A more juice. Yeah, 
So what would be called would be to set up the stream so that I can show you the map really quickly. Let's have a look at that. I'm dragging it onto the screen for a bit. Immersion blade breaking. But uh, you know, I'm watching the stream on the web, so I don't suppose it matters too much. That's to me though. So here we go. That looks more like an airfield. Sorry about the hangers being uh, misidentified there. But hey, it's windy. It's raining rather. So like I said before, let's not land on a taxiway. Bring ourselves round. Um, slowly descending, which is fine. Try and, try and bring it in so we're actually on the centre line this time. And we're going to land. Um, I don't know if you need to tell anyone. Just a quick look. Right, so we're actually landing on 20, which is not not where we're supposed to be. But, um, look away. Maybe we should boot and uh, join the other end. Yeah, don't like it. I'm cheating. Go. Go around the other way. Do what you're supposed to do. Well, if we're supposed to do it, we actually would have... Um, you do a full circuit, but this is kind of it, where you, you basically have the runway to your right, to your left, whichever, um, and then do a circle, we come in on, we'll come around the mode too, since we now know where it is. Don't want it too high, otherwise we've got to burn off all that height again anyway. So let's just flick over to the right. So we can see where we're going. What should we achieve? So what we'll do is we'll turn on this um, the break uh, clearing in the forest. And come around on that, I think. It's quite good to um, pick a pick a spot in the in the like a visible spot and aim for that because it, it gives you somewhere to, to steer around, but also how far do you need to go? You don't want to go too far um, away from the airport. Well, not in this plane anyway, because it's slow. But a faster plane, you would. Um, and we're really getting, getting a bit high. No, we're okay. So we'll pull it around here, and then we should come. So this is the M11 going over here. So we want to that should be on the on the right of it. I think. I remember right. Let's come around here. Yeah, there we go. We'll come back over the M11. Wait for the cars. Slow down, because we picked up some speed on the turn, and oh, we've cleared nicely for us, so let's get lined up. Could have gone a little bit further out, I think, to get a line up. Oh, we're like perfect, perfect, perfect weather. That's a nice bit. Okay, line up, power off, and then we're just bringing the plane in, almost and gliding, really. Nice. And just lifting the nose up a little bit. So we want the obviously we want the wheels to touch. So they wouldn't land otherwise, but just bring it in nice and gentle. Uh, a little bit of a bounce, we get as always. I'd like to be able to stop that, but I don't suppose it matters too much. And then we're just rudder and brakes. Putting rudder and brakes is it's not so easy. We've been blown away over the place. Well, <laughs> I think I'm steering this all over. Okay, that's it. Put down. Head up here. Find the taxiway to follow. It will do us. Will us come back? I'm so sure that was realistic. There we go. Round. this round. I don't suppose there's any ground crew we can um, talk to. And now it's quite clear of the runway. Which we are. Some so good to, how good of us to actually say we were. No, I don't think there is anything we can do here. I'm just going to park. It's quite hard to see what you're doing. 
what um what they say in the books is you kind of do an S. So you do that, so you can see what's going on, and then you do that, see what's going on, then you do that, maybe not quite as sharply. Maybe slow down a bit and do it so it's over. And then you effectively just kind of remember. Actually I've got the wheel off the ground there, which will seem bright. Okay. Where should we land? Where should we park? Rather. It's got some lights now, it's so gross. I should do just stop for a sec. Oh, <laughs> nearly tipped the plane on its nose. Quick look at parking, shall we? That's another thing you need to be careful of. Is, is obviously, you, you basically waited towards the front, so put the brakes on too quickly and you end up sticking the propeller in the ground, which is not bright uh, and very expensive. So parking area is <coughs> along this taxiway, follow taxiway C all the way around, along the bottom of the runway, uh, runway 12, and then and then we are at parking. So let's do that. I'll do it from outside. Really not good at it. See, look how quickly that tail came up. Slow down again. We don't want to take off. We literally want to tick along a bit on that. Let's stick outside because I want to see a little bit more than normal until we get used to the plane. So we're about what's the time? Four o'clock UK time. Just about. And that grey weather's coming to to see me for real. I'm not going outside. Right, you are. So we want to what do we want to do now? Go over here. Okay. Where are the brakes? Yeah, we want to go over here. That's the wrong way. Don't want to do that. Let's go over here. There must be um, a standard for labeling taxiways, mind you, really. because uh, unless you do literally look at every air airfield before you land and take off, it's possible, I suppose. Who's that guy? He's just waiting for me, He's waiting for someone. So we want to get over on the left hand side there. You can see where we are. Nice um, F18, I think that was. Parked up. Hopefully, just a demonstration one. the bottom of the runway, like I said, we're going a bit past the turn. Just like in the plane. No, we can't see. But uh, it's the same deal, you have to remember where you are, try and keep straight. It is a bit like having a brick wall in front of you there. So for off to our left is the runway, we're not going to use, and we are drifting off of it. Although this seems unnecessary because, you know, you could just get out of the plane and walk off. Um, kind of feels like you should do this and find somewhere proper to land. Doubt there's anyone waiting to give me any help. Oh, this guy could drive through for a truck. Oh, he's alright, go out of the way. So somewhere over here would be cool. Right. Are you going to get in our way, Mr. Van Driver? No. Okay, you can turn off air traffic control. Get in the way of our view. There's some buttons for doing that. Okay. Where was the other plane? I don't want to let anything go next to you. Slow 
now. And this will do. Breaks on. <laughs> I'm going to watch that. Breaks a little bit too sharply on. Okay. So let's shut her down. Um, first off, the engine choke in will just, just um, turn the engine off because it will starve the engine of fuel. And that is one way of doing it. Um, our throttle is right back. Our avionics are off. Lights are off. Magnetos are. Oh, there isn't another that parking brake. Uh, interesting map in there. Um, we've got our brakes on. Going to um, turn the magnetos off. And that's the end of the flight. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, a nice little round tour. Um, let's have a quick look at a uh, quick overview of where we went. I don't think that's all us, that's previous flights, but we did we did actually leave Northfield when I headed up towards Willingfield, Willingale Air, Airstrip, up to High East Rearfield, did a landing there, and then came back across here down to Northfield again. Meanwhile, avoiding the monstrous Stansted airport, which is only a single um, runway. It's uh, well, there's a small one, it's a taxiway, it's a taxiway. But um, yeah, I like where you can hear the rain on the um, cockpit now. Here's where we are in the world in comparison. So uh, from the point of view of Enfield, oh, sorry, um, North Wheels. Uh, I would have said Stansted it was, oh, it's further down than I thought. So you've got Stansted and then you have Luton over this way. There's Luton. And then you've got London, London City and Heathrow. And we're not going anywhere near there in this little tiny plane. It's really just a, a small thing. Okay, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the flight. I did. It was quite um, simple and it was nice to see the weather and all the conditions there. And start doing some of the things that um, we've learned in previous times, um, I'm going to go and get. Uh, if I'm, if I've been flying, I'll go and get a cup of tea or bovril. Why not? I used to do bovril when I had swimming. Um, and I'll see you again next time. Give us a, a like or a, a, well, a follow in the um, in Twitch. I'll push this out on YouTube as well. So you can watch it there in the future. And probably Tuesday night, um, I'll put up um, a schedule when I've decided, we'll, we'll start doing the um, Flight Sim X or Pilots Real World Training Book. Um, and let's work our way through that chapter by chapter and try and see what we're going. Thanks again for watching. Um, I will say goodbye shortly. <laughs> I'll say goodbye. And um, thanks again. Have a nice rest of Sunday.